Hello everyone and welcome to another review video. This time we're going to be reviewing a film from Czechoslovakia called Ikari XB1. It is from 1963 and it is one of the originals in that it is one of the few that showed humans trying to explore and get to another star system. In this case, it is Alpha Centauri. And the original is this. It was changed for the American audience. And the changes were that the ending was changed so that it looked as if they were coming into New York there was aliens coming into New York and the dialogue was also changed. Anyway, let's get right into it. By the way, the name of the American version was Voyage to the End of the Universe. When the movie begins, you see a crew member, Michael, who is barricaded himself in a different part of the ship and he seemed to have be having some sort of mental issue. The captain and the crew are trying to talk to him and to calm him down and get him to accept their help, but he's having none of it. The second in command, Commander McDonald, leaves to go and find him, and the captain sits down and begins contemplating how they got to this point. When Captain Abajeb's flashback begins, we learn that the ship is called the Ikari XB-1. It was built in Earth's orbit for eight years and that it will be going to Alpha Centauri to discover if there's life on a white planet they saw there. It is a 15-year round trip to Alpha Centauri and back but the crew will experience only 28 months. The year is 2163, and incidentally, that's 200 years after the making of this film. With the crew in their gravity assist positions, the ship takes off on its way to Alpha Centauri. Now, Alpha Centauri is a little over four light years away from Earth, so the ship is not traveling faster than light. The ship, which has 40 crew members, reaches cruising speed and the crew are able to get out of their gravity assist positions. So for the next four months, ship time, everything is normal. Then one day, while they were holding a dance, something happens. They run across another ship. The ship is a derelict and they send over two crewmen and a shuttlecraft to board the ship. Once they get on board, they found everybody on the ship dead. It seems as if they were gassed and they are human. They got to the cockpit and they found that the two pilots are military men and that they ended up killing each other. So they surmise that the crew had a problem and in order to conserve air, killed the rest of the members of the ship with gas before turning on each other. They discover that the ship has nuclear weapons on board and one of the crewmen accidentally activates the nuclear missile and before they could escape the ship, it detonates, killing them and destroying the ship. They discover that the ship was from 1987, the 20th century. Anyway, they sent Michael and Svensson out onto the surface of the Icarus to replace the shuttlecraft that was destroyed. And while they're out there, something happened to them. Svensson and Michael came back into the ship. And at first everything seems okay. But then for the next couple of days, members of the crew begin passing out. And over the next few days, more and more of the crew begin passing out. Then they realized that there was a dark star 
and the radiation from that star was affecting everyone. They came to the realization that the radiation from the dark star was going to knock them out for at least 60 hours and they weren't sure they would survive that entire time. But they woke up after 25 hours and it turns out that some sort of force shield protected them and they determined it was coming from the planet they're heading to at Alpha Centauri. It turns out that Svensson and Michael were on the surface of the Ikari fixing the shuttle and they got a full dose of the radiation from the dark star which affected them a lot more than it did the rest of the crew that were inside the ship. So it affected Michael's mind. Michael locks himself in a section of the ship and they try to use a robot to get to him but he destroys the robot. Commander McDonald goes into an air shaft to try and reach him. Then that's where the captain's flashback ends. Commander McDonald manages to reach Michael and talk him into giving himself up. They take him to sickbay where the doctor says that he can be cured and they continue on to the white planet at Alpha Centauri. They realize that the force field that protected them from the dark star was coming from this planet and when they break through the clouds of the planet they see a big city so that's how this movie ended. While this movie may not have had the production values of movies in the West at this time, it was original in that they tried to stick with the science that they understood of the times. And it was well acted and I think it is worth watching. Of course, the American version was changed and the ending was changed and the dialogue was changed to give it the impression that it was aliens coming to Earth. But I think the original, this one, is much better and worth your time. Thank you for watching and listening.